Hi everybody, um, this is Kala. Uh, for those of you who have stuck around for a very long time, uh, she looks a bit different <laughs> than when she was when she was younger. Um, she obviously is in kidney failure now. Uh, yes, last week I was talking about how we would be talking about this. Well, I ended up finding out that, yes, higher proteins are great for nursing mothers and their pups. They turn out beautifully. But when I got everybody the high protein diet, I noticed a problem. And it was only 5% higher than what they should normally fall in the range for, which was about 13 to 15-ish, right around there for protein. And so, um, the Katie Complete Diet is what I stuck them on because uh, I wanted to try and help some of the younger hamsters and I thought they would probably enjoy it too. Well, with that, uh, Angel was on that. I had to put her down. Kala was on that. Uh, I have an appointment to uh, put her down. Um, Peanut butter is starting to show signs, and so is Karen, who they were all on that. So were the other hamsters, but these were the ones that it obviously started to kind of kick something up in. Uh, now how you can tell for kidney failure is your hamster is going to go from being normal size to literally becoming gigantic and it normally happens when it starts hitting into to kidney failure instead of kidney distress uh, which kidney distress you can't really tell too much on they don't really have a lot of signs of that unless obviously you get blood work but you're not gonna do that every you know every single week for a hamster let alone ever and what happens is when they start going into actual kidney failure, uh, you'll notice that they'll start getting rounder quick. And it's not fat. You can tell the difference between fat and kidney failure. Um, the fat that you touch when it's kidney failure, it's, it's actually liquid. So it feels like almost like a almost like a liquid bubble sort of deal. Uh, and obviously she's starting to have problems walking, which is normally, that's when you can really start tell besides the fact of drinking so much water. I mean, like I said, you'll almost mistake them as a diabetic. The only differences between that and this is their output of um, potty. Uh, with a diabetic, uh, normally with all the water that she'd be drinking, um, you'd pretty much see wet spots all over the cage. On which case you don't, you only see it in the small little area. Uh, and when she drinks, you know, almost a whole bottle of water, and that's kind of all you get, uh, that's, that's a sign right there. Uh, is small to no output and eventually obviously the liquid has to go somewhere and so it literally starts off in um, the lower end of the hamster sometimes by their butt um, it moves up into their legs then eventually it'll move up to their back um, then you'll notice it in their chest um, and once again Fat you can squish. It, it squishes in. With this, it literally feels as though it's just a... It's like a water balloon. It's like a water balloon that's really, really full. Where there's not really much squish to it. That's how I can best describe it. And once again, it will spread throughout the entire hamster. Um, normally when it hits kidney failure, 
Um, it can take between uh, anywhere between a couple days to a couple weeks before the hamster, y you can just tell that there's something completely wrong. As you can see, when she walks, she's unstable. And especially, like I said, around, around this area, um, it's bigger than it should be. She almost looks like she's pregnant, but the fact is, she's actually, you know, pretty, pretty darn old. <laughs> so it's definitely not that. Then, obviously, I don't have her with any males. So, like I said, there's no chance of that. That's how you can also tell. <laughs> is once again, it, it starts in this area and then moves straight back up. Um, when uh, Angel died, uh, she was the smallest hamster that I had. She was about, I'd say about this big. And she ended up, by the time I brought her in, um, was actually way bigger than even um, Kala here. I mean, she she became the biggest hamster that I had. Uh, that's, that's the difference between uh, kidney failure and just fat. Uh, that actually happened within a matter of uh, five days. She went from being kind of, you know, normal, tinier size to absolutely gigantic. And obviously, if you're paying attention to your hamster, you'll know that there's no possible way a hamster can gain so much weight in just a short period of time. Even as is, it can take close to two weeks for them to actually get to that point. So, uh, that's pretty much, you know, the end of this video. Uh, make sure for older hamsters, you do not give them uh, beyond 15% for protein. It's great for nursing hamsters. Uh, it's perfect for nursing hamsters because they need the extra protein for the milk. But for older hamsters, uh, they do not need that protein. And so it's best to just keep them on a lower protein diet unless you start seeing their hair fall out, in which case try and get a, a little bit higher protein, like around 15%. But for older hamsters, I notice 13 to 14% is, is, is a good number. I haven't had any uh, kidney failure with uh, that kind of protein. Um, when you start getting higher than that, like the kind I was using for uh, the nursing mothers uh, is 20%. Not a good thing for, for older hamsters. So uh, the one that I used that's high protein is KD Complete. So if you have an older hamster above, I would say, eight months, uh, I would avoid using that due to the fact that it can send your hamster into uh, kidney failure. So with that being said, um, that's going to be the end of this video. Doodles everybody.